A week after the NBA draft, the NBA free agency started out with a bang, featuring a lot of all-stars that were free agents. There were many teams that made some big-time moves, but there was a few teams that was absolutely made crazy moves this offseason. And they may win the NBA championship with these moves. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about grading every NBA team's free agency moves this offseason 2021. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will, and we're back again with another video. I know I'm finally back. It's been a minute, but I had to talk about this offseason, this free agency. It's been crazy. A lot of big time moves, a lot of big time trades, a lot of big time signings. And let's be honest here. The Lakers just blew everybody away. Now, before we get into this video, if y'all like my content and y'all enjoyed this video, and if y'all like my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please give your boy a like and please share any feedback. Share this video to your fam family or friends because it's going to be a banger today. Now, without further ado, let's talk about these NBA teams. Now, I'm going to be doing only 12 NBA teams today. I might do a part two any another time soon. But I'm going to be doing 12 teams, and we're going to be grading all these teams and, and their key additions and their key losses. So, the first team we got, Chicago Bulls. I give y'all an A. Here's why. Y'all key additions. Y'all picked up Lonzo Ball, DeMar DeRozan, Alex Caruso. Lonzo Ball was a great pickup because y'all needed a point guard to facilitate Zach Levine and him scoring the ball. And Lonzo Ball is also a great defender. And he's uh, and he knows how to facilitate and knows how he to shoot the ball better. He shot the ball a lot better last year by almost 40, probably 40% 40 from three. So you got not only got passing ability and defense, you got a little bit of shooting with that. You also picked up DeMar DeRozan, who is a mid-range guy. Who needed to be out of San Antonio because his contract is coming up and his, he's coming up in the age where he needs to be on the contender. Even though Chicago's not a contender yet, him, them pairing them with Zach Levine and Lonzo, that's a great, it's going to be a great squad already. Then y'all picked up Alex Caruso, who's just a dog, who gives you great energy minutes off the bench for the Lakers. That's a big time pickup for Chicago. So their lineup is going to be Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, uh, Lurie Markkinen, and Nikola Vucevic. Now, the reason why I gave y'all an A and not an A+, plus, I feel like y'all needed to make a move with a power forward position and look at Lurie Markkinen. Because I'm not a big fan of his game. He's solid, but... He's too inconsistent. I feel like y'all could have made a bit time move and got a bit time trade for Lurie Marketing and got somebody better at the power four position. But y'all still have Patrick Williams, so y'all can y'all can either start him or have him come off the bench and have some experience watching the Martin Rosen play. So Chicago, y'all did a great job this offseason. I give y'all an A. Next team, we got the Miami Heat. I give y'all an A minus. Y'all key additions. Y'all got Kyle Lowry, who I already I already knew y'all was going to get him in this offseason. And y'all got PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker is a locker room presence. I was surprised by that pickup. I did not think y'all was going to get PJ Tucker. I knew y'all was going to get Kyle Lowry. Y'all needed another. Y'all needed a point guard and a dog that can get you buckets and defend at a high level. But getting P.J. Tucker is perfect for this Miami Heat team. With Jimmy Butler, with Bam, all of them just rough riders in the locker room. You add a P.J. Tucker, who just gives you energy minutes, plays great defense, can spot up, spot him in the corner for three, and just a great leader all in off the court. So that's a great pick of Miami. I gave y'all a minus because I think, I believe, Jaja might be leaving off that team, and I and I. Still think y'all need another small four, not small four. I mean, excuse me, another shooting guard. Y'all kept Duncan Robinson. I'm glad y'all resigned him, but I, I still believe y'all need another like almost all star caliber player for y'all to really 
because y'all already going to be contending, but really challenged Brooklyn in the East. So for for what Miami did is an A minus. It's not better than what Chicago did. Now next team, I know y'all want me to get to this one. I'm about to talk a lot of stuff about this team, the Lakers. Jesus Christ, I don't understand how they have the cap space for this. I don't understand this. Rob Polinko is the best GM in basketball. This is unbelievable. I give y'all an A plus plus plus. Key additions, y'all literally picked up eight players. This is like so y'all got Russell Westbrook. That was a shocker. In a trade. Y'all got Melo yesterday. Finally, y'all got the get Carmelo Anthony on his team with LeBron. Y'all re sign y'all re sign Dwight Howard. Not re sign him, y'all pick them back up. Y'all needed more size behind Anthony Davis because that's what the Lakers were really missing last year. That's why the injuries kept piling up because they really missed JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard coming off the bench to get him more rebounds and size. Drummond did the best he could. They didn't play no get no minutes to Harold. It was just a disaster last year. Malik Monk, shocking pickup. Amazing pickup. They needed more shooting. Because getting Russell Westbrook, yeah, that's great. But Russell Westbrook is not the best, not the best shooter. Y'all needed more shooting. Not only y'all got Malik Monk, who's also not just a shooter, athletic. Y'all also got Wayne Ellison, who's a spot-up shooter and knockdown specialist, three-point specialist. And then y'all got shooting in defense with that, coming off the bench and giving Trevor Ariza, who used to play for this team in 9 or 10 with Kobe. And more depth with Kent Bazemore, who I'm not a fan of, but can give you quality minutes off the bench. And Kendrick Nunn for young and talented point guard position off the bench? How do y'all ma- how, Rob, how do you manage to peel this off? This is unbelievable. And y'all not done. I, I'm still hearing that they're trying to trade Schroeder for Buddy Hill. Key losses. Alex Caruso. I mean, yeah, but look at all the players y'all got. Mason Job Lakers. Y'all gonna be tough to beat. Next team. We got the Warriors. B minus. Key additions, y'all only got Auto Porter, but y'all did give a, a huge extension to uh, Steph Curry. And Clay should be coming back. We'll see how 100% he's going to be. And y'all still got James Wiseman. Warriors, y'all did pretty good in the draft, but this the draft is not going to be, it's not, it's nothing to do with this video. That's going to be another separate video, which a lot of teams did great in. I'm about to talk a lot of stuff in that video. So the Warriors, I give y'all a B minus. Y'all don't get out of Porter. Y'all might do something else, but so far. Knicks. Y'all just made a big time move this morning. So the Knicks, I'm gonna give y'all a B plus. Key additions. Y'all just picked up Kimba Walker. Off waivers. That's a good pickup. Only I'm really worried about Kimba Walker's health though. But Kimba Walker would fit perfectly in this team. This is his hometown. This is his city. This is where he's growing up at. He with the Yukon. But he's from New York. And y'all got Evan Fournier. Now, with that pickup, y'all overpaid him. Evan Fournier was a good pickup, but y'all overpaid him. Y'all should never give him that much money. 78 mil? Come on, man. Is Evan Fournier really worth that much? He's nice. But he gets no kind of defense. And he's inconsistent at times. So, Knicks, B plus so far. We'll see what else y'all do. Next, Brooklyn, B, key additions, y'all got Patty Mills and James Johnson, Patty Mills was a really good solid pickup, y'all needed more shooting off the bench, y'all needed more depth, and y'all got it with Patty Mills and James Johnson, James Johnson is a big body, just give you size and give you quality minutes off the bench, and a little bit of energy, key losses, y'all lost Spencer did Woody, but I mean, he was injured all year, so I get it. It's not a huge loss, but especially they would would put put a buckets on the other team he's at. I'm not gonna announce it yet, but I know where he went. So next B, y'all go. We already know y'all gonna be up there. Phoenix. All right, Phoenix. I'm gonna give y'all B minus. Key additions. Y'all got Javale McGee. Y'all need another center off the bench that can help out DeAndre Ayton, get more size, and give quality minutes, give more energy. And just bang off the bench. 
and y'all got Landry Shaman. Y'all need more shooting. Y'all got it. Landry Shaman. That's who he, he's there for. He gets you a three point specialist off the bench. So Phoenix B minus. I think y'all need y'all still need to get a good small four, like an all star caliber small four. If y'all can somehow manage to pull off MPJ from Denver, y'all might be right back up there like last year. Not in the finals, but unless y'all face the Lakers, y'all gonna be y'all still gonna be really up there. Blazers, I am disgusted with this team. Dame, get out there. Get out of there, please. Blazers, D. Matter of fact, I said D. I'm going to put it to a D minus. Key additions. Is, are these really key additions? Tony Snell? Cody Zeller? TJ Leaf? Who? Really? What is this? Like, are you serious? Like, and Dame said, I'm I'm not happy with the additions we got. This is disgusting. This is pitiful. This is disgraceful. What is this? And Key Loss is mellow, obviously. Dame, please get out there. Please find some way to for them to trade you to either Miami or New York. You can still fit in New York with Kimba. You might play the shooting guard, but you still fit in that in that role going in. I would love to see you in the Knicks uniform. I would love it. Wouldn't mind Miami either. But I would love to see you in the Knicks uniform. I, I doubt they're going to try to get you now, either Knicks or Miami, I because they got their point guard position full now. But... Oh, Dame, I feel so bad for you, bro. You're trying to be loyal, but this generation in the NBA world, nobody's loyal no more. This is a business. Everybody want, they wanted to win the championship. That's why everybody was joining LeBron. It is what it is. Dame, get out of there. Utah, C+. Plus. Key additions, Rudy Gay, Old Self, and Hassan Whiteside. Um, the Audi slash H Mark version of Rudy Gobert really didn't do much. I mean, Rudy Gay is up in the age. Like, I guess it's more leadership or more, you know, experience off the bench. Hassan Whiteside is more size. I mean, Utah, y'all still gonna be good. Y'all didn't lose nobody, but it's just like y'all could have done better than that. I guess. You know what I'm saying? So Utah C plus. Oh, ah, I'm about to get on y'all. Philly, I'm about to get on y'all. D plus. Andre Drummond, key addition. Anthony Tolliver. I get y'all had to get Andre Drummond because y'all lost Dwight Howard. But it's nothing but, it's gonna, nothing but going to be nothing just, it's nothing but breaks going to be happening in Philly now. Matter of fact, now they know not even going to be able to shoot because Ben Simmons is still on that team. Why? Why? You know Philly fans are not going to ha be happy with that. Philly fans are going to be livid if y'all don't make a move today. Today. And try to trade Ben Simmons. And I heard y'all y'all wouldn't be y'all will be fine keeping him. Huh? <laughs> Philly fans won't. That ain't going to be going nowhere. But second round exit every time. Y'all keep Ben Simmons. And don't add even no more shooting or a point guard. Matter of fact, you know what? Get Dame. Get yep, that's what y'all need to get. Trade Ben Simmons and get Damian Lillard. With Joel and B. Y'all be right there with Brooklyn. Yeah, I said. Get Dame. Trade Ben Simmons to Portland for Damian Lillard. Now the problem with that is Portland don't want y'all. Don't want Damian uh Ben Simmons. I get it. Who does? I don't know. Warriors. Warriors would be a great fit for Ben Simmons, but it is what it is. Wizards C plus. I mean, obviously, like look, Washington. Y'all trying to rebuild once again? I guess. I. It seems like y'all don't know what y'all want to do. Again, another player, Bradley Bill. Get out of there. Get out of there. I, I don't understand. Get out of there, Bradley Bill. 
Like, I... Key additions, Spencer Dewoody. Yes, it's a good pickup, but he's and he. We don't know what kind of Spencer Dewoody we're going to see coming off of Tory and ACL. He's out for the whole year. KCP, Godwell Pope, solid pickup. Montrez Hero, you got more size, you got more energy. He would he would obviously have more minutes. He probably would put average eighteen points like he did on the Clippers. Kyle Trashma, y'all got him. I feel bad for y'all, but y'all decided to do that trade, so all right. I, I, I had no other choice, so y'all was like, you know what? Let's trade Russell for Kyle Trashma. Um, yeah, speaking of Russell, uh, key losses, yeah, Westbrook. And Ishmith, yeah, Wizards. Uh, I'm going to pray for y'all. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate y'all, all y'all tuning in for this video. Please get, please. I would like to see all y'all comments on which team y'all think was the best out of this free agency class. And it's obviously, obviously the Lakers. But I'll, I want to know who else y'all would think is literally going to be a team to beat. A new team to beat this, this season. Thank y'all for tuning in for this video. And it's your been your boy Will. And I'm out, y'all.